Hello, it's Mrs Bridges here. I'm Head of Science. And I just wanted to speak to you a little bit tonight about how you can support your um, child to revise all of the sciences. So obviously we've got the two courses. We've got the separate science course which studies um, individually biology, chemistry and physics. And then we've got the combined course where they'll study all three and get the two qualifications at the end. So first of all, I just wanted to bring your attention to the fact that there are revision classes and they are going on at the moment on a Monday and a Friday night. And we do provide biscuits, especially on a Friday night when we need that little bit of extra help. Um, some revision guides that you can purchase if you wanted to from the CGP company. So I've got one of them here. So we follow the AQA course, as I've said in my PowerPoint that you'll get through shortly. So we've got the revision guide. If they do combine science, then they only need this one revision guide for biology, chemistry and physics. And it will do the whole of the course. If you do separate sciences, then you need an individual one for biology, chemistry and physics. Something else I also personally recommend, and I've brought this for my own son, is if you want to have a go at practicing some questions and that retrieval, um, remembering things from a long time ago and, and short snaps of revision. Um, I've bought these for my son, they're really good. They're called the 10 minute tests and they are tests that take 10 minutes. Um, even if you just did one of these a day, they'd be really, really beneficial. And they come with the mark schemes and everything in the back and there are loads and loads of tests and they're more than enough to keep you going. Um, past papers is something else that I also really recommend. Um, we've got some in school that we can give out to students, but also there's lots of websites. Um, there's Past Paper Finder, um, there's Seneca Learning as well, which is another really good revision website where you can find past papers, and I really recommend you working through those. Um, in terms of online resources, my PowerPoint will show that we've got GCSE Pod, which is invaluable. Seneca Learning, I've already spoken about. Um, FreeScienceLessons.com is really, really good. The man is a little bit boring, I would admit, but actually the content is really, really, really good. Um, I'd like to focus as well on asking students to look back over the required practicals. So the required practicals are a really important part of the exam paper. They're the biggest marks available with six marks and you have to know these practicals. There are three on each of the papers um, that the students will be sitting. In terms of the actual paper for the mock exam, it's going to be a paper one, which is topics one to five for biology, one to five for chemistry, and one to five for physics. And obviously the required practicals will be within those five units for each paper. So it'd be really, really great to see lots of people at revision evening on Friday this week, and Monday and Friday next week. Um, and also, um, if you want any help at all, then please email me or your um, child's um, classroom teacher.